Hi there, this is Mary Languish with another FGI art tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to paint six different types of trees in watercolor. So let's get started. The first one we're gonna do is a pine tree. There's lots of different types of pine trees, but I wanted to just give you kind of a one specific type of pine tree that we can kind of work, work on here. And I'm gonna start with the trunk and I'm using just a watercolor set link to this watercolor set which I absolutely love is in the description below and I'm gonna start over here and we're gonna do the trunk of the tree first thicker to thinner like so and there are like some branches and things and the joy of watercolor is that you can really keep it simple and, and kind of imply some of these details. Let's go just a little thicker at the base and go up like that. I'm gonna switch to more of a round brush that I can kind of control the size a little bit more and we're going to make the green pine needles and the fun part with making trees is obviously they're different shapes but the leaves are totally different from tree to tree even similar trees are going to have different shaped leaves or different you know um, placement of the same leaf because every tree is gonna be unique. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of mixing more of a neutral green here. Something that's gonna be richer. It's not a bright green, it's kind of a rich green. And I'm gonna kind of put in that detail, starting at the top and working down. And this particular one is more clumpy. And depending on the type of pine tree you're looking at, it's gonna have slightly different like direction of the leaves themselves or the branches I guess with the needles needle clusters on them but leaving spaces is huge for making the appearance of layers in your tree going behind the trunk going on top of the trunk. Adding a little bit of variation with the green in there is also very helpful. So I'm adding a little orange to that green. Notice how I'm keeping my brush kind of pointing to the top of my paper so I can get a little bit more of that sort of clustery, clumpy, pine needle look. And we'll add just a little bit of a value to the trunk itself, because especially in here, you're gonna get a little bit of dark shadow, and then down along the side, whichever side you wanna pick for a little bit of that definition. Always add in a few more branches maybe a little bit dark in the tree, but there's a type of pine tree. Really easy, trunk first, then the branches. Second type of tree we're gonna try is a palm tree. So, different parts of the country, right? Different parts of the world have this type of tree, and so we're gonna work on the trunk first again, and the trunk is lighter in color, a little bit more peachy. Um, and a little bit of purple just to kind of dull it down a little bit, keep it thin. Again, kind of thick to thin for the most part. While it's wet, you can add a little bit of a value to one side to give it a little bit of a third dimension there with a little volume. Now we're going to work on the major branches first to get 
idea of the placement so that we can then do all the little leaves <laughs> off of there. So I'm going for a little bit brighter green here. You'll see it on my paper. And I might start from the outside and work in because I want these to be pretty thin and I want to make sure I have the control over the direction. There's a lot more than you think also on a palm tree. We always tend to put like three or four <laughs> and there's quite a few. Okay, so there's my layout of where the major branches are. Now I can go in and I'm gonna start with the lighter ones and then do darker ones. Cause there's ones that are hitting the light a little bit more and ones that are more in shadow. So from here, I wanna kinda put in individual, following the sort of direction that they're gonna fall. So there's my lighter ones, let's go for darker. Actually, we're gonna add a little bit of red. If you add a little red to your green, it darkens it to make it a little bit more neutral. So this, obviously this tree takes a little bit more effort to make sure that you're capturing the texture capturing the direction of those leaves. Now in the center, it's a lot more full, so I wanna really work on filling that up, but still following the leafiness and the direction of those leaves. And there's oftentimes some kind of burnt ones, old ones, dried out ones, <laughs> that tend to fall kind of like down this way. So you can add a little bit more of a brown hue to those. And to even deepen parts of the branches, you can come in and put even a darker blue, black, green to kind of give that a little bit more depth right in the center. Like that. Now let's give the trunk just a little bit more flavor by adding just a touch of a value to the top of it. There, there's your palm tree. Now we're gonna do an oak tree, very different shape. We have a lot more room now to kind of fill because oak trees, you know, have wider branches, <laughs> tend to take up a little bit more space. So we're gonna create again the trunk of the tree first. Thick to thin again, get some bigger branches in there but I don't have to put all of them in there because I'm gonna have a lot of green overlapping. So I just wanna get kind of the base and maybe hint at a few up in here too. The beauty while, of watercolor while it's wet is to go in and add just a touch of a value to that so you can get a little bit of a deeper Brown. Okay, now we want to do some green and we're going to go for kind of a just a classic green color here to start. Warm it up just a bit. There we go. And we're going to start up at the top this time and kind of work on the outer shape of the tree. working down the side to create the sort of outer perimeter. 
watching how branches fall and change. I might kind of change my stroke a little bit, go swirly to the side to get a little bit of a different leaf texture because I don't want it to look like this too much. The pine tree, I want it to look like its own types of leaves. Watching where there's spaces where sky can show through is important. But notice how I'm doing all the lighter sections first, and then I will go in and fill other spots with a darker green. And then we're gonna go in with the darker green. It takes a while to build up the right color and to have enough of it, that's important, with watercolor is making enough of the paint color that you need. Okay. Now I'm gonna maybe simplify a little bit and put in some bigger bigger areas to fill it in faster. You can kind of speed up the process a little bit by filling in some spots, but then making sure you capture that texture a little bit more. Trees are just so forgiving with watercolors especially. If you have the materials and you can learn how to mix the right colors, which I can do in another video, let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. Alright, so there's a representation of an oak tree. Let's try a willow tree. These ones are really fun. Very different in shape, again and leaves. And we're gonna start with the trunk. From the base to the top. And you're gonna get some, you might see some actual branches that are kind of going out and drooping, mostly towards the top because the leaves are gonna kinda fold over. So that's about what I'm gonna put down for that and give it a little bit of value, especially up in here because it's gonna be pretty dark shading itself, right? Then the green might be a little bit more blue-green. They tend to be close to water and they tend to be more of a sage green. So we're gonna go in with Slightly different intentions with the green so it can look different than these other trees Trying a bunch of stuff see what works Adding a little bit of purple in with my lighter green to create more of that sagey green So now I'm going to come in and put some of that. I might start by putting in Longer branches. I don't want to do too many just lines, but I can start with lines and work from there And then on those lines, I can do some more little, little clumps, little suggestion of leaves together. You can darken in between some of these with a slightly darker green. And I'll use a little bit of what we used before on the oak. I might add a little bit more of a brighter green for more of the highlighted side. Still on the blue-green side of the spectrum, but enough that you can see that the sun is hitting these sides. I still wanna go darker. So there's your willow tree, super fun. Let's try a maple. Now, a maple we often, you know, think of as being red in the fall, which it is, but let's just do kind of mostly green and add in just a little bit of red um, in spots to hint at the changing color. So I'm gonna start with the trunk again. And 
and it tends to be probably similar in color to the oak tree in terms of green. So I'm gonna put in some of that as a base. I might change a little bit more to a lighter green. I'm gonna try on the edges to add a little bit more pointy corners to my leafy shapes because maple is that specific iconic, you know, pointed three-pronged leaf. And so if I can show a little bit more of that on the edges that will maybe convey that look. And now let's dig into a little bit of red and we're gonna dip it into some of the green that I already have down to blend it just a little bit. And then we'll transition to just red. It's really amazing that trees go from green to the complete opposite color. <laughs> red or orange or yellow. It's just a miracle. So there's a maple. And last but not least is a birch tree. Now birch tree, they're similar to aspen trees and how they look um, with their skinny white trunks, um, but they tend to be a little bit thicker and the leaves are a little bit um, wider, I believe. So we're going to create just sort of a really neutral color, just to put in a fairly light trunk because we we want it to just be, and you might not be able to see this very well, but we just want to give it a value, very light value. Maybe I'll do two here. They tend to grow in clumps. And then we put sort of, the leaves tend to be a little bluer in value as well, probably similar to this guy when they're green. And again, they turn yellow, but we're gonna put in, they're definitely more dot-like. We wanna get enough clumps of these though. But I'm using more of the tip of my brush. Leaves don't tend to come, or branches tend, don't tend to come too far down the trunk. So we're gonna stop it close to the top here. enough clumps of leaves, putting in some thicker parts, some darker parts, going in with some of the blue, just to deepen some of that. We can even go in with some yellow and add in a few highlighted warmer leaves. And then to finish off the trunk, we're gonna give it a little bit of a value on the one side. But then birch, similar to aspen, have little eyes and cracks and things in them on the way down. So there you have six different types of trees done in watercolor. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art content like this. And until next time, bye.